The High Speed 2 Railway, HS2, was supposed to transform the lives of millions of Britons by dramatically reducing travel time and creating tens of thousands of short and long-term jobs while improving commercial activities from London to Birmingham and further north to Leeds in Manchester via a 530 kilometers long comprehensive network with trains traveling as fast as 360 kilometers per hour. At first, the mega project plans seemed fancy and a blessing for commuters. It was meant to enhance connectivity, dramatically reduce travel time, and reshape the vast heart of Britain. Even the initial cost estimates sounded feasible at around 31 billion pounds. But as all mega projects in the UK go, it was hit with endless delays, constant design changes, budget overruns, and protests. It was supposed to be a smooth sailing process, but now it is estimated to cost, if completed as originally planned, around 106 billion pounds and as much as 150 billion pounds. This fantastic dream has simply become a nightmare and the project has been red rated, which means it is unachievable and a waste of money and thus has to be scaled back with most of it scrapped. Why is HS2 being built? How far has the construction come so far and at what cost? And why is it being scrapped even though parts of it are already built? HS2 is partially completed and like everything in Britain has been debated and researched to death since 2008. The government probably spent tens of millions of pounds on consultations assessments, and you name it. And of course, the busy, friendly, ambitious politicians were busy politicizing the issue and using it for election gigs and their feuds. But to be fair, Partygate got more attention since it is more important than fixing the economy. This may sound harsh to some, but let's be honest. If important infrastructure issues were not politicized and instead resolved in quick referendums, this project would have been achieved at less than 30 billion pounds. It just became another white elephant implemented through patchwork and rather satirical dramas. Needless to say, it is no different than Hinkley Point C nuclear power plant, which is a disaster in the making in terms of future energy prices. We did a video about Point C reactor, so feel free to check it out, which would help you understand our point of view. Anyway, we like mega projects. They are good for the economy and innovation and create new generations with advanced skills that can lead British firms to export expertise and obtain lucrative projects in the international market. Anyway, according to original plans, at the southern end of the HS2, the line will terminate at London's Euston Station, while the other terminal will be Birmingham's Curzon Street Station and Manchester Piccadilly Station. In addition to these stations, the dedicated track will serve Old Oak Common in West London, Birmingham Interchange, East Midlands Parkway south of Nottingham, Crewe, and Manchester Airport. Several junctions were also planned for trains to progress onto the existing West Coast Main Line and Midland Main Line to reach towns and cities in Scotland, Northwest and Northeast England, and the West and East Midlands. HS2 is designed to address three key problems facing Britain. It will add vital capacity to the existing rail network by taking long-distance trains off it, creating thousands of extra seats and space for more local, commuter, and freight services. It is also destined to encourage businesses to no longer concentrate in London and the Southeast and to establish themselves in the Midlands and North. Of course, it will also ease the overcrowded train services on the West Coast Main Line, which is the busiest in Europe since it unites the capitals of Britain and Scotland with some of the nation's most important regional economies. This means the HS2 should serve as a catalyst for growth in the Midlands and North and open up new employment and leisure opportunities for millions of people. Mind you that, as far as we can tell, the government has exhausted all possible and feasible solutions to resolve the bottlenecks and other issues 
plaguing the West Coast Main Line, and only the HS2 can put an end to the problems once and for all. And as you probably guessed, it will contribute to less CO2 emissions, thus further advancing the nation towards net zero carbon by 2050. In a nutshell, it is about the economy, jobs, fewer cars, lorries and planes, travel time reduction and commuter comfort. Do not bring your hopes up, we said in the original plans and supposed to. As of recently, this magic bullet train is almost certainly cancelled. Well, except for the parts that have been completed. In October 2018, demolition began on the former carriage sheds at Houston Station. This allowed the start of construction at the throat of the station at Mornington Street Bridge and twin bore 13 kilometer tunnels to West Ruislip. In January 2019, the taxi rank at Houston was moved to a temporary site at the front of the station so that demolition of the one Houston Square and Grant Thornton House tower blocks could commence. In September 2020, the civil engineering aspect of the construction of Phase 1 began with preparation work including over 8,000 boreholes for ground investigation. In June 2020, workers finished the demolition of the western ramp and canopy of the Houston Station Station. In March 2023, the government postponed works on Houston Station, saying that this was necessary to manage inflationary pressures and work on an affordable design for the station. This led services between Birmingham and Old Oak Common to be prioritized, with the Elizabeth Line providing passenger transfer between Old Oak Common and Central London until at least 2035, which is the earliest time at which Euston would be available under the new plans. Construction of the Old Oak Common Station began in June 2021, and four months later, the TBM Dorothy was launched, tunneling under Long Itchington Wood. In April 2023, work on the tunnels linking Old Oak Common to Houston was deferred and the tunnel boring was rescheduled to start in summer 2025. In May 2021, tunneling of the 16-kilometer Chiltern Tunnels began with TBM Florence, moving at a speed of up to 15 meters per day. The second TBM, Cecilia, was launched in July 2021. In February 2023, it was announced that the halfway point of the excavation had been reached. In May 2022, work began on the 3.4 kilometer long Colm Valley Viaduct Ridge to carry the line over the Colm Valley Regional Park in Hillingdon, West London. The viaduct is situated between the Northolt and Chiltern Tunnels. In October 2022, TBM Sushila, the first of four TBMs to be used on the North Holt Tunnels, was launched from the West Ruislip portal. Much of these works, among a few others, have been completed or are scheduled to be completed in 2025 at the latest. However, it is not clear how much the cost is to this date. As of September 2023, Things look quite gloomy for the HS2, as the government is leaning towards cutting costs via slower and less regular service, linking fewer locations, among other things. Mind you, there are rumors the whole project might be scrapped. It is also widely expected that the services offered will not be extended to central London. Mind you, if there was not so much political bickering and other nonsense since 2009, and funding was allocated with a binding deal with a construction giant, the HS2 would be running today at full capacity. But now it is official, problems with the first two phases, from London to Birmingham and then to Crewe, do not appear to be resolvable. The government's infrastructure watchdog, IPA, said that the project is not deliverable in its current form after the group analyzed plans for the construction of the first two phases. The truth is, there is nothing wrong with the HS2 Mega project, but it was mismanaged by the current and former governments since 2009 and turned into a satirical fiasco about non-existent engineering and rather overstated inflation issues. Feel free to let us know your thoughts about HS2 in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.